morning everyone. Uh, something uh, just a tiny bit different than normal. What it is, a uh, few questions, especially for this time of year, uh, I get asked where they're buying my materials from. And to be honest with you, I've actually bought materials from everywhere. 40 years of collecting materials, more like. Um, but if I was regularly buying, I mean, uh, obviously, there's a local taco shop, which I have dropped into quite a few times. Uh, it's just a normal taco shop, and it's for the odd thing. There's obviously big taco shops, there's bigger shops, like the one in Glasgow. And then obviously uh, online, everyone, a lot of people buy online. And so do I, I buy from everywhere. If I need a certain material, a hook or anything, I'll buy online uh, if I really need to. I mean, if I can get it locally, I'll support the local shop. If you can, then do that. If you don't, they'll not be there, uh, they'll, they'll disappear. Uh, but the way things are set up nowadays, uh, and I don't, you don't need, need me to tell you that, is that most things now get, do get bought online. And uh, so what I'm going to quickly do, because I'm getting asked the questions at this time of year about sourcing materials, buying materials, I'm going to go over to my, my computer. And now this is just a snippet. I, I, there's, I could go on and on. There's lots of companies out there, good companies, online companies, here in Scotland, the UK, and in, in Europe, in the world. And I'm, I'm only picking a tiny minority. Uh, and the most recent ones that I've bought materials from, uh, it all comes down to basically what flies or what you're going to be tying. So you've got to try and source it. And uh, sometimes I'll, I'll put a link on, I say, my Facebook. For recent, uh, recently I put on, uh, it was actually the whiting, uh, called the Leon capes, saddles that I was using and quite a few dry flies. And uh, a company was selling them in America. And so obviously I put a link up because I get asked probably once, twice a week, uh, because I've been tying dry flies throughout the season and fishing them, where they get these feathers. And, uh, and it's the easiest thing to do is to put a link on, there it's there. If there's some locally, then I'll, I'll obviously send a link to that. And that's all I do. And uh, I mean, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do, just quickly, I'll go over uh, to my monitor. Now, first one up. Now, this is the, the tackle shop one. Now, this is the, the Glasgow Angling Centre. Uh, basically stock a multitude of items, things like fly tying materials, where you want a kit or where you want an individual fly tying. And this is just a clicked on, uh, or a typed in fly tying materials and this is what comes up. So you, there's a, lots of stuff on there. I mean obviously being local or within, in my case, to get to the Glasgow England Centre it's uh, 35 miles. So it's up a bypass, it's, it's minute, it takes them about 40 minutes to get there, depending on the day, uh, if it's obviously a rush hour. I'm going to spend a lot more time getting there. Uh, if I went this time in the morning, I'd certainly be there in about 40, 45 minutes uh, or so. Yeah, it just depends on the traffic, it's like anything. Uh, so on a Sunday morning is a good morning for me if I was going to the Glasgow England Centre. But it's a great uh, well, so there's, as I say, we've got the Glasgow Angling Centre, right? We've got to say this. There's like John Norris, which is in the borders. We've got Sportfish. Uh, I'm going to miss someone, I know that. Um, I've, I mean, as I say, there's there's other companies. Uh, there's fly, good fly tank company like Laugh Hill Taco. There's, uh, oh jeez, I'm going to forget someone. And I apologise if I do. Uh, I'll try and what I'll do is... Uh, I'll put links up, but if you do a search, you'll find. Um, what I'll do is another thing over the winter. If you put some questions below, and I'll try and answer them this way. Hopefully, that this gets into a kind of every say maybe once once a month or maybe twice a month. I'll do the I'll be video on this, or I'll see how it goes, uh, and we'll do a wee search together. But anyway, this is one of the sort of main ones, and, and then if I go into Obviously, uh, there's other companies. There's obviously the, the the company I will get involved with a wee bit more than the normal is like Fully Mill. So we've got the Fully Mill website. 
uh, recently they started selling uh, fly tying materials so if I go in there and go into the fly tying uh, stock um, this is where I got a lot of my hooks uh, and then I got a lot of the materials obviously uh, and I do I don't use every single material that they sell I mean I, I use some of it um, and some I really like and I especially use their hooks uh, they have a great range of hooks whether it be barbed or barbless uh, so again it's entirely up to you but uh, again there's other companies that sell fully mill they are a wholesaler as well as a retailer uh, so they'll sell to the public but is uh, your local tackle shop they'll stock if they're fully mill materials and they now get more renowned around the world uh, <coughs> excuse me especially in the last few years and I mean they're obviously they're better known for the fly tie and uh, the flies uh, so there's a lot of other things you can buy from them now a wee quick look at materials I mean I've got obviously feathers I've got the dubbins which I've got a few of I've got quite a lot of the dubbins uh, which I like so this is the, one of the main products that I use from them, I mean I use a few of the bits and pieces as I said but the, the dubbins are really really good the, I mean I can get through them I mean there's, I like them all, there's not much I don't like Euro Nymph is probably one of my top ones, this one here which is a great collection of natural type mixes and a wee bit of flash uh, and they work in a lot of nymph patterns obviously but it work, I've used it in dries and stuff that it works great so uh, the, the, the tactical is good uh, the ultra dry the, or the ultra nymph there's a few you can go in um, if I got the ultra, I don't think I've got the ultra nymph it's one I don't have, maybe I have to look at that the, the voodoo streamer again, it's another good one it's got a nice blend, it's quite a long fibre but it's, I like it uh, there's the ultra dry dub there. Uh, that's a, as I say, it's a nice, it's a good dubbing. You got the Seal X, which is a sub for Seals Fur. A tactical dry fly dub is another one here. So I mean, I've got quite a great, I mean, a big selection of dubbins. Uh, the, the Euro Nymph Flash dub again is another one. So you really can get carried away. They've obviously got synthetics and so on. As I say, the hooks was a, was a favourite of mine. The ones. Go into them a wee quick look. Uh, you've obviously got the barb version as well as uh, the barbless. I use a lot of barbless, so I mean I use both. But the the barbless is a, again a great selection. So you've got there as your competition heavyweight. Now you can get that in the the, the barbless. Uh, the grab gapes, uh, the heavyweight champ. They're very similar. These hooks. Uh, it's kind of style. It's probably just the weight more than anything. We've got the, the, the ultimate dry, we've got obviously black nickel, bronze, and so on. Check nymph, you've seen me using them. Check nymph for grey hook. Uh, I was using it in some buzzers yesterday. And then we've got down here, if you, we've got down the bottom left here, we've got the check nymph uh, again, but this is a heavy version, so you've got, if you need the, the strong. Now that was one I was using yesterday on the buzzer, so that's for the winter buzzers again, they get down. Or even if you're using it on a, say, especially when you go to trout fisheries, where the average size of fish is two plus usually. So if you have a decent sized fish, especially the rainbows, then you can really fight times. So if you the chance of hooking a 10 pounder or even more, you need some of a bit extra light of strength. And these will hold up, but so do I. I mean, I'm quite happy to use most of the hooks here and land fish. I mean, I've done it. So yeah, I'm going to come back a wee bit. And then we'll go with the barb. And these are the barbed versions. So if you, and these are easily debarbed. So I've still got a lot of barbed hooks, and when I want to debarb, it's very easy to do that. So that's the the range there. I'd probably say the short shank special. And the black nickel is a favourite of mine. Uh, the super grub, uh, super heavyweight grub. Uh, the the super grub. Where is it? This one. This one here, if I can highlight it with my cursor, you can see there. That's a good, I like using that on clink hammers and such because it's got a nice flat set uh, shank at the top and then get a nice deep bend. So it's a nice hook to use if you want a barbless hook or a barbed hook. Another good one. 
So anyway, we'll go into what we got next. Oh, why this is uh, cooks oil. Uh, this is all if you want to buy like your natural feathers, like uh, partridge, grouse, all these type of feathers. Uh, I've got your game range. I've got individual feathers. I've got wings, loose hackles, which I buy a lot. CDC. Uh, so I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. I mean, there's the skins. So you've got your English partridge, fence partridge. I use a lot as well. You get your grouse. And, and so on. Snipe, that's a full skin. Uh, skin's good, there's lots of feathers on there. If you can buy the skin, you're, you're tying a lot of soft tackles or what we call wet flies or spider patterns. You'll, these are great to have the skin because the skin get, gives you a great choice of colour. The French partridge, some nice, there's really nice feathers on that. Golden plover, when he's, I mean, it's a, kind of quite a scarce one, but if you can get a hold of the skin, geez. Uh, that makes a great fly, it's such a good fly. The snipe, this one here, the the tail feathers especially, never ignore them. Just a just be, at the beginning of the tail, I use them a lot, and then the body feathers again. The, these are the nice soft, mobile feathers that you you get a nice, dun like colour in some of them. It's a mix of the the natural browns and so on, and they go together. Water hen, she's well. A lot of feather flies you can tie from that. Coot, I've used a few times. It's, uh, it's quite a nice feather to use. Slightly stiffer, I find. But it is a nice nice one. Uh, we've got Jay. Well, Jay, the body feathers. Can't ignore them, but I like the body feathers. Uh, we've got the obviously the blue Jay, why everyone buys it. But the wing feathers are really good. Again. Now, it's always times worth buying the skin if you're wanting that the range of flies. Uh, if you're just wanting for the blue jay, uh, then you buy the wings. And then we've got magpie. Main feather of the magpie is the tail. I use a lot of the tail. Though again, it's, there's a lot of feathers on the body that you can use. Jackdaw. Well, the jackdaw, the, the wings as well as the body feathers are really good. It's the, they've got the, the head feathers. Uh, which is this nice soft grey, it's used in a lot of the old patterns as well. Hen pheasant, practically hold the bird, uh, whether it be the wings or the tail, body feathers, and then we've got the starling at the bottom. Again, there's not many feathers on a starling you can't use. I've used the feathers from all bits of the bird everywhere. So anyway, that's just on the cook cell, and there's a lot more, as you see, you can buy them in individual feathers as well, and sells other things you can see, so it's certainly worth a look. Now I'll put a link to all these websites, and now, uh, here's, this is to be quick look. This is a Cop de Leon uh, Wine that I spoke about, this is in America, this website, and you can see there's, that's the actual, the saddles. Uh, nice big saddles. If you're tying a lot, it's 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 certainly uh, it gives you a great choice. I mean, they do the, the 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 necks as well. I have one or two necks which are really nice, but I probably use more of the saddles than ever. So anyway, that's a wee quick look at them. So you can buy obviously across across the the water as we say, or in, in Europe. And then you can actually a wee quick look to see what else I've got. Uh, eBay. I mean, it's always to fall back on eBay. There's, there is obviously uh, a few you could buy on there. I'm not going to pick any. These are, I just typed in fly tying materials and this is what came up. Just happened to be there. There's a, some Indian cock necks. I used to buy them at a pound, a pound each. <laughs> obviously they're £7. Uh, but still worth buying at £7. They're the nice wee capes. Uh, I'm mean, probably do a search. You maybe find them cheaper, or if they do a. Sometimes what you do find uh, is that they'll sell a set, and uh, so you go through them. Now you can see there's obviously a lot of people who sell the materials for fly time, crystal flash. There I see there's obviously uni threads, so you you can buy all over. I mean, one of the main companies here in the UK is the wholesalers, vineyards, and they supply the stockists they've got all around the world. So they have, uh, so what I could do is let me let you see with the vineyards website, but these, 
you can buy the from direct from them unless you actually have a, a trade account with them. And uh, so I'll show you the the vineyards. But as I say, you can there's lots of stuff. Just have a rumble through, and uh, this I mean as you know we we're all trying to save money. It's sometimes not always best. Uh, some the bargains have a wee quick normal I'll, I'll look around and see make sure um, and there's some packs of CDC somebody selling so is the fly box there's a, just when we talk about it, there's a company there that I recognise uh, they do really good stuff uh, other companies uh, do FNF another great company um, we could do a wee quick look at them so I'll just add on to that now I'll just show over here we've got the FNF materials. Uh, you've seen me using their materials quite regular. And again you could you could get carried away. I mean there's some really good stuff. Obviously you heard of their vice, the talent vice. Uh, it's a great vice. And uh, so we've got fly lines as well. So it's just a matter of products. You can go through. You'll see a range of all the uh, fritzes, blobs and all the rest of it. Um, you can see they've got fly lines obviously. Uh, you've got your cylinder foam cylinders. These are all stuff you can buy. Uh, I mean this is in the UK company. I could easily find a lot of materials from FNF in America now which they, they are selling. You can see the materials over there. So a wee bit more there. So you can go on and on and on. Now as I say I'm going to show you the vineyard uh, which I say you can't buy direct unless you're a, a retail uh, because it's like well I can buy because I was a pro tire obviously and I had an account with Vineyards so uh, you basically I mean I've had a, an account with Vineyards for a long long time <laughs> it's a long time but uh, to be honest with you most times if it's just for two or three packets of this or that I still buy I'll just buy for a normal taco shop if I was buying a lot, if I was buying bulk packs or doing something like this, I would buy, say if I wanted a hundred peacock eyes, I would buy direct from them, I'd buy a bulk pack. Personally, that's what I do. I'm not a retailer, I don't resell, so I just use the materials for my own fly time. So I'm a slightly different customer. Or a, uh, the, the main people buying from venues would be like tackle shops online and so on. So we'll show, I'll show you anyway. So here we are, we're on the Vineyard website. As you can see, uh, you've got, there's like obviously Vineyard Wholesale. So they are a wholesale company, been going for years and years and years. Uh, not sure how long they've been going, been going a long, long time. Uh, a lot of experienced people in the company. Uh, you can, obviously they've got their hooks. Now they, they be, the companies or shops will be buying direct from them. But on here you can have a, a quick look and you can see if you've got a local tackle shop that stocks vineyards. Uh, you could always go to this site and say look, I see this, they sell that, could you get that in? Now you may find a, like a, small, a small shop. It doesn't pay for them to individually. Some may do it. So I buy in a packet of this and a packet of that, uh, they need to put an order together to make it worthwhile because they're obviously extra cost of delivery and so on. So it pays for them. So like, you'll need to wait to the end of the month type thing. I put an order in once a month and I'll add yours into it. So if you're patient, they'll get it for you. So basically, uh, in their materials, you've come through, you they sell thread, synthetic, naturals, they've got lots of stuff. So as well as tools, it goes on and on, dyes, that's what I, I use, vineyard dyes, you've probably seen me doing it. Uh, so again, I'll put a wee link in this and you can have a rumble through it. But the, the stockists, uh, there we are, press on there. So there's a stockist if you can look. So if you're in Australia, Austria, Belgium, there you go. Bulgaria, Canada, Czech Republic, Ireland. Uh, you've got England, it goes on. Estonia, Finland, Finland twice, uh, anyway, France, Germany, Iceland, there's Ireland, Italy, goes all the way down, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, uh, Norway, Poland, Romania, they say there's Scotland there, 
Uh, there's Angus Anglin, which I know well, Flymakers, another good company. Uh, Ultimate Angler goes on and on. So basically, all these companies, if you look at uh, uh, Rummel up to uh, England, uh, England there, I mean, you'll see Lathal Taco and so on, Angler's Lodge. I mean, they go on and on, Farlow's, Anglin Water, Fly Tank Company, Total Anglin. So these are all stockists, people who they, who buy and sell on. So as I say, lots of companies there. So even there's Japan. Uh, and their websites are there, so you can click direct to them. So what I'll do is I'll put a connect to this. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of local companies here. Top one being Glasgow Anglin Centre, as you can see. Uh, Anglis Anglin, Hemsdale Company up north. Uh, up in Sutherland, so they say Edinburgh Anglin Centre, we've got the Downey Leisure Limited, Dingwall. So, Game Sport and Air, which is my local one, so Game Sport and Air. So, if I went to Game Sport and Air, I, just, I can go to their website and order, say, look, I know Mark, who is works in the shop, and could you get me such and such? They'll be able to get it in for me, um, or at least help us anyway. Uh, Wales, USA. Not so many in the USA as see. It's, a, it's quite a fly time materials. Depends on what they actually sell. Some materials can't go abroad. Some chemicals can't go over. Uh, it's like uh, varnishes and such like certain things. So anyway, there we go, folks. Uh, uh, it's just a wee quick video. A wee quick. It's longer than I thought. Uh, and I could go on and on and on. So, but what to do is if there's something. Uh, if you feel it would suit this type of uh, video, just let me know and I'll go through it and try and, well, I'll let you know what I know. I don't think, I don't know everything. I just die flies. Uh, try my best. So, but anyway, there you go, folks. That's a wee quick look at some of the websites I've been looking through and some of the companies I've bought materials from over the years. So, thanks for watching.